Hello everyone, Will Hyder, Construction Technical Specialist with ATG here, back for another ACC Tech Talk. Today we are going to be looking at how we can take an attachment that was part of a correspondence and save it directly to the files area of build. This particular feature was added as part of the January 2024 release for Autodesk Build. Where we're actually going to begin today's uh, tech talk isn't inside build though we're going to begin inside our email provider uh, in my case uh, it is outlook uh, however the workflow i'm about to show you will work just as well for all other email providers to get started all we're going to do is uh, add in our project email address right here uh, which i'll walk through how to do in a a little bit later uh, in this tech talk. Basically, I've taken the project email address and saved it here as an Outlook contact, just so it looks uh, a little bit nicer than the default project email address. I'm just gonna continue by filling out uh, this email, again, like I normally would if I was sending it to the project via correspondence. I'm gonna add my attachment in right here, which is a PDF file. Um, we can add in, however, any ACC supported file type, which there are over 100 of as we sit here today. Go ahead and hit send. And while that email sends, I just wanted to remind everyone that with every ACC release, we can always go up here to this help area. And if we select the uh, first option here in the dropdown menu, it's gonna take us to the help site of the particular ACC module that we're on. So since I'm an Autodesk build, uh, it's taking me to the build help site. And if I go over here to the different uh, sections on the left, if I open up this what's new one, you can see under what's new, there is that January, 2024 release. And if I open up that subsection further, I can go into the specific feature releases that were a part of administration, build uh, cost management docs insight and takeoff in this case um, i could do the same thing for the no november 2023 september july i would all i would access these in the same way as i did the january 2024 release so i've just got a notification that email has come through to correspondence so i'll go ahead and open up the correspondence module you see this GCUR 13 is that tech talk uh, attachment email I just sent. I know for a fact it has an attachment because of the paperclip icon that appears right here, just to the right of the main correspondence column. If I go on, go ahead and open up this correspondence, you see at the bottom here, there is that, that email attachment, uh, those, that PDF of the CAD standards to the right of the CAD standards, it are these three dots. And if I click on those three dots, this is where I would go to save this particular file uh, to my file uh, area. So if I click on that save to files button, it's gonna take me into this dialog box and ask me where I would like to save it. Since these are CAD standards, I'm gonna go ahead and select the specifications folder and save it right there. You see that green pop-up that just appeared has indicated that file has been saved successfully. I'm just gonna go in for the sake of completeness though and double check. So I'm in my files area right now in the specifications folder and there are those CAD uh, standards with the date and time at which they were uploaded. So again, that workflow I just showed was how we can save attachments that were included as part of correspondence directly to the files area of Autodesk Build. To touch on one more thing that I mentioned earlier, if I want to create the project as a Outlook contact, which I, again, I highly recommend that you do if you're going to be hev heavily leveraging the correspondence part of ACC, the way I would go about doing that is via this file from email button. And that first drop down is going to be the project email address. All I do to create the project 
uh, as an email contact is I'll go ahead, hit this copy email button right here, and then go ahead and create a new Outlook, Gmail, uh, whichever email service provider you're using, create a new contact with that project email address as the email. Um, thank you all again very much for your time. And we will see you on the next ACC Tech Talk. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content on our channel.